Hello, Julia Watts here and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be looking at Mabel's Lily of the Valley from Fairy Hooks and you'll be able to find these the stamps and products that I'm using either on my website juliawattsclass.co.uk for shipping to UK addresses or you can find them at fairyhugs.com uh, where there's worldwide shipping. So the flower fairies from Fairy Hugs uh, were out in July 2022 and there's 22 sets and today we're going to be focusing on Mabel's Lily of the Valley as you saw from the title and I picked a paper from the Misty Whisk paper pad and this paper pad is uh, hopefully you can see this uh, it's very dark here at the moment um, it, it's full of uh, scenes with moons and there's some fantastic um, papers there which are kind of textured um, just like that one and they're all six by six and as with all fairy hooks paper pads they are um, there's 24 double sided sheets, 24 designs, two sheets of each and they're 216 GSM which is a really good weight. So I've just trimmed a, a, ever such a slightly, a little tiny bit off so it's now five and three quarter inches um, and I've got a black mat. So this is going to be very very simple, anyone can do this and it really does show you um, what the fair fairies are all about really. Each set has got a flower. Uh, fairy on it and uh, it has either one two or three flowers on it sometimes there's extras like bees or butterflies anything you need to make a scene really so uh, you're good to go you know each set is going to make you loads and loads of different um, cards so this video is going to be part one and there are, should be three parts because I did set myself a challenge last year to make three new projects with each of the flower fairies and I've done some uh, but the previous ones didn't have videos to go with them I just thought well, while I'm making it I might as well record it so you can see how I'm making the video so we're just going to take that big blue bell there and we're going to pop it on this um, ground that there is on the paper fiddle around with it there and um, yeah, let's just stamp that one for now and see where we're going because I'm not 100%, I've got a plan, but I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to stick to that plan or not. And as you see, we've got two moons on this, so it's obviously from another planet, a mystical world that you, you might have seen on some of the um, Star Trek or Star Wars type things. Let's go for, instead of going for a black, let's go for Medieval Blue versus Fine Claire. See, I've already used a blue with this one before and I made my original sample. And you will find um, on my Julia Watts Crafts Facebook page, uh, you will find an album that is contains my Flower Fairy makes and I will add these to them as well. Lots of tapping, you want a nice juicy ink. And the, the uh, papers are kind of, I, I call them semi-coated. Um, they take inks really, really well, but they don't kind of suck the inks up. So that means that a lot of the time you can get away with just stamping just once rather than having to repeat stamp. I haven't used this stamp for quite a while, since probably since July last year. So um, I might need a second time anyway. Uh, and do make sure it's a good idea to always push your uh, paper right up into the corner so that if it kind of moves, you're good. I pressed very hard there. I still haven't pressed very hard there. Maybe I didn't link it up. Maybe I didn't. Let's see what's going to go. Let's pay attention to that middle bit. So just make sure it's nice and pressed into the corner. Give it a good old press. Okay, it wasn't working beforehand. That's better. Lovely, lovely engraved uh, detail on that. Really, really pretty. Okay, so that's oh, that one. I'm only going to stamp that once, I think. Big one. Fetch 
to that off. These are photopolymer stamps manufactured in the USA. And if you're in the UK, then I import them for you. So there's no shipping charges uh, or import duties to pay. Um, it's free postage over um, £30 to UK addresses. Um, below that there is a charge, but you'll see that on the shipping on the website. So let's grab Mabel, the fairy, and don't forget you can use other fairies with these, you don't have to use the set, but sometimes it's nice to see what you can actually do with the set itself. So let's have Mabel down here, and we'll make sure it's nice and pressed into the corner. Let's stick with the blue, because it's a nice deep blue. medieval blue and you will find all the verse fine clairs on my website as well there is a ring for the nocturne which is the black but there isn't a ring for all the others i don't know why maybe there is in japan but not with the stockists that i use or the um, supplies that i use it'll <clears throat> all pressed she's got she's got beautiful um plaited hair So you can see the, the detail that you get, and that's just with the first impression. I am just going to go again because I want it to be a bit darker. That's mainly the body, really. So make sure she's pushed up to the corners. I'm just, I'm just going to press along the body. Let's hope we just keep that detail. Okay, so that's Mabel, beautiful Mabel, and then we've got a smaller uh, flower, and it is called Mabel's Lily of the Valley, but for me, it's more like a bluebell. So um, in the UK, we have bluebells in about May time, I think. I'm sure it's around there. So let's have use the smaller one, and let's have some of the smaller ones down here maybe so she's walking in the bluebell um, glade I've not used this one before you see it's nice and clean so we're going to give it a really good push into the corner take your time when you're doing this enjoy it you do find you, you kind of lose yourself when you're doing your fairy hook stamping. Very relaxing. I find it very relaxing. Just go for it. Don't scare, just go for it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the acetate that comes with the stamps and so that when I bring my stamp back in again, I don't actually mess up my paper. Otherwise that ink that's on there would have transferred to the paper and it might not be where I want it to be. find out we'll have a look in a second. Nothing to panic about. I'll just wait that way with it. <clears throat> and it's a little bit kind of open there. So what we could do if we wanted to is actually bring in this is what I'm saying I might not know what I'm doing yet. So we could bring in some other flowers. So we've also got uh, the forest flowers as well. I don't really want to bring that in again because I think that's going to look not right. So 
let's grab our forest flowers. And we've got this, this is my favourite stamp, this foliage stamp. So we could grab that and put a little bit of foliage in just there at the bottom. And let's go for a green. We've got this lovely green in the background here. I think we go rainforest. You don't need a stamping platform for this stamp. You can do it freehand. <clears throat> as we've got it out, let's have a little bit here as well. And let's use the acetate. bothered masking that off probably should have done right let's go to the block it might be done quicker and easier to go to the block this is a um, little tiny um block from indigo blue it's called Got a little bit of foliage going on around there now if you want to have some foliage around this area here and we can do let's just pull this out we stay on our mat magnets over there stay on our mat and just grab a piece of paper in fact this is already kind of not quite the shape we want but let's see if we can get a shape going on That's pretty close. Where's my stamp? There it is. <laughs> At the side of me. It's just floating in there a little bit. Just got a little bit of foliage just around the bluebells there at the bottom. So that's your forest flowers. And let's just pop a sentiment on here as well. Pop it back in here so that we can make a good job of our sentiment. Because quite often what you find is that you do all this stamping and then when you come to do the sentiment you make a mess of it. But don't panic if you do, because if you do, all you need to do is um, cut it out and mat it on top. I've picked this Stay Forever sentiment, which says, If there ever comes a day when we can't be together, keep me in your heart, I'll stay there forever. Which is very sweet. Lot, there's lots of fantastic sentiments from uh, Fairy Hogs. Now I need to have a look see if this is straightish. So I don't have my aligned backgrounds. Goodness knows where they are. A bit on the stamp press, uh, press to impress. Haven't found everything since so I've moved yet. Let's hope that's straightish. I think with the sentiment we will go black. We say we go for the nocturne. The text is quite fine on this actually. It's 
fine. Let's see if I can show you better. Hope you can read that. So that's all we need to do. So it's very quick and easy because all we've used is Mabel and the forest flowers and then the Stay Forever sentiment. And then, so all I'm going to do is Let's just add a little bit of colour to Mabel's wings because we can. And let's stick with the kind of blue and green theme. So let's have a look. There's a little swatch. It won't be exactly the same colour because this is a watercolour card. That's quite a nice colour which kind of fits in with the background there. And um, perhaps this is my favourite glue, which is from set two from the Sentimentally Yours watercolour blending brush pens. I think the this other colour is from set three, but um, I've sorted all mine out. So let's do her with those two colours. So I'm sorry about all the shadows. It's just so dark in here. <clears throat> so you can see that the ink the pen just goes on top beautifully so I'm just picking out certain areas to add a little bit of colour to not my best colouring but you kind of get away with it to try and keep it symmetrical in the other blue. You can also add um, glossy accents over the top if you want to or the um, Sakura clear glaze pen is a really good one to pop on top. Obviously you just need to wait for those to dry. It's not so easy on the papers to actually blend with a water brush because um, it's not watercolour card that you're dealing with. Let's just do a hair. that in, I think this is from set four, this is kind of um, a mustardy yellow, so I, I think that she's kind of blonde with this colour, and then we just bring in, just for the extra bits on her, on her dress, we bring in this here. So we'll just add a little bit of colour to her and then we just mat and layer that onto a bit of black card and the glue decides to come down and I'm using the Sentimentally Yours glue you don't need much I'm actually pressing the nozzle into the paper Less is more. You don't need a lot of this glue, and you do just need a thin layer. If you do that, then your you, um, paper doesn't buckle, and also it lasts longer because you're using less. So let's pop this on here. Try not to smudge it. Try to get it nice and straight. On the other side. So there we are. There's Mabel. I will try and do this in better light if I can for parts two and three. But there's just a start. So once again, that's Mabel's Lily of the Valley uh, from Fairy Hugs, and you'll be able to find it on my website, juliawattscrest.co.uk.
and also on fairyhugs.com. And before I go, it um, be fantastic if um, you would subscribe, if you're not already, to my Julia Watts Crafts uh, YouTube channel and also to the Fairy Stamper uh, YouTube channel as well. And then on Facebook, you can find me at Julia Watts Crafts and uh, there's also the Fairy Hug Store group, which is a private group. You can ask to join and we love to see your makes on there. So um, and also it's where the design team do all their sneak peeks. So I um, hope you've enjoyed that and uh, thank you for watching.